Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here in Irvine and I'm about to go into Amazon Fresh. I first saw this on somebody's story and I was so intrigued because I didn't even know that this was a thing. But then I did a little bit of research and it's been around. Um, and it's actually pretty cool. I've seen a couple of videos. I think it's pretty neat. I wanted to experience it myself and take you guys along on the journey. I definitely want to see what they carry. How much of a variety do they have? What's the price range? You think that this is going to be cool? Uh, yes. Yeah? Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, but this cart is like a smart cart. It's connected to Amazon account. Um, I just had to like scan the code here and then it went into the system. So we're just walking around right now in the produce section to just look at like the quality and the price of what they have so far. Everything is like super nice, neat very organized the quality of their produce looks great um their setup is super clean pricing is pretty typical but yeah so rick just added an onion but so what it is is like if you add an item with a barcode um it, what's scans, it, called? it. it scans it for you but then if you have an item like just an onion you have to look at like the PLU number. Rick is getting some parsley and he has to put in the PLU number and that's how they will count it. Is it doing anything? Oh yay! Cool! It's raining! So yeah, I think guys i think that these produce and um like all of the food in here is uh what is it it's uh is whole foods products because they're partners right am i right that only makes sense <laughs> so like i expected this is the asian aisle like this little little chunk right here so they need to work on the variety but this is exactly what you would find in a in a Whole Foods, so it, it doesn't really surprise me. I mean, it's just like a typical like Asian ingredients, you know. What is that? The rice. rice? Yeah. Nice. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see that? That was pretty cool. It's just like really efficient. Yeah. Hey, why did it count twice? What happened? What happened? I added this to my car. One. Uh, I did not remove anything. Whoa, they had a picture. Wow. That was crazy. Of you? <laughs> no, of like the this going in the bag. Oh. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, so here's an Alexa. I'm gonna ask her if they have tapioca flour. Okay, how do I use her? Do I just tap her? Say hey, Alexa. Okay. Hey, Alexa. She's saying hi. Where can I find tapioca flour? Find tapioca flour oh. at all 11. Wow. Why was I like assuming that they didn't carry tapioca flour? Because you hate it like that. Wow. All right, guys, let's go to aisle 11. I actually do need tapioca flour. Mr. Shucks, what is this? This is for my risotto. You, Are you an alcoholic? No, <laughs> I'm a cookist. You're a cookist? Yes. Yeah, guys, so Rick doesn't drink. Um, so that's why it's very <laughs> shocking that he is. I eat my liquor. Yeah, he, he doesn't drink his liquor. He eats it. Good? Yeah. Have a good one. Have a good one. I said so. Uh, yeah. Cool. Have a nice night. Thank you, you too. And we are back home. I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys, but before that, I'm gonna share some thoughts. So, um, it was a fun experience. I like the efficiency of it, but it wasn't really anything new. Like the vibe of the whole store, if you've ever been in a Whole Foods before, it it definitely just feels like you're in a Whole Foods, but just like a different um type of 
like checkout system so i guess that was really cool if i had one if there was one near me i would definitely like um go to it i feel like it would save a lot of time and if you don't feel like talking to people um it's definitely a way to grocery shop but i would like but i would also like to add that it is pretty um like packed yeah it was um, a little bit hard to maneuver around there was like quite a lot a little bit of carts in our way um mostly just like in the produce section but i feel like that's because the produce section is just like that's like every produce section is just awkward you know but yeah i like i said everything there was like whole foods so whatever selection that's at her whole foods they have it here and whatever um at whatever prices and like brands and stuff like that so let's get into this haul we got some jasmine rice now i like the the buddha brand rice but this will do they don't have they, they don't really know about buddha brand over there but um rick got some parmesan cheese some pre-grated parmesan cheese <laughs> i got some cake flour um i'm just running low on cake flour and i just like to have uh my inventory to be full um okay the other bag yes i was carrying a lot but um okay so we have some parsley for rick's um risotto journey m ms for the movie we're watching tonight <laughs> we're having a movie night we have a, we literally have movie nights every night yeah. um with some Happy Cola gummy bears mm -hmm. or Happy Cola Haribo. Okay. They're the diet products, so it's okay for me to have. Are they diet? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I got some of these just for like the lazy breakfast days, you know? Really good. Um, Arboreal rice. This is for Rick's risotto journey. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for your risotto journey. Have tapioca flour, cereal. What is this? Chicken stock for your journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow, we got a decent amount of stuff. Um, peeled garlic because I'm a fraud. <laughs> and then an onion and some honey like i said the whole experience was pretty cool like it's just like a more efficient and different way to grocery shop but other than that like there wasn't really much that was like ooh I, that i was like ooh and ooing and eyeing over so yeah like if it's in your area go check it out it's cool it's a fun it's a fun little thing to do how did you feel about it bubby i thought it was cool but everything you said it was definitely packed yeah um, that that produce section, woo. I, I was, got an attitude. Yeah, man. same. Yeah, but yeah, if, if it was closer, I would go a lot just for the coolness of it. Yeah. Just putting an item in the in the cart and it scans. That's cool. Yeah, it's just like I said, more efficient. Yeah. Um, I guess my cons would be the packedness of it. There was a lot of employees. Yeah. And I feel like they the don't know what to do. The employees were low key rude. Yeah, exactly. They they weren't very uh aware of what was going on. But yeah. I feel like that's because they don't have much to do. Training or, or I don't know. They don't have much to do because yeah, it's all true. self serve and everything like that. So they just kinda walk around to look like they're busy. Yeah. Um so that would would be the other con. And then the last one, those baskets specifically don't give you a lot of space yeah these two bags right here took they, up most of the space yeah they come the preloaded with those bags and yeah you can't really put anything outside of it so if you if we needed more we would have been asked out <laughs> for sure but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed that little vlog you guys can find more of me on instagram and twitter at twitter and i'll see you guys next time bye